So Rowan has been a dancer her entire life. Right. Um, from the time she was very little, it was sort of the center of our family. We traveled around, she was a competitive dancer. I was a dance mom. We were a dance family. I toured around the entire country with Rowan at competitions. I missed Koa's first birthday because I was in a convention center in Orlando. It was a full-time job. Both of us had to put kind of everything else on hold. She has OCD and she has it pretty bad. And so last year it got to the point where getting out of bed was hard for her. She was broken down and she was acting out. So we went to an OCD specialist and they were helping her. And then she, was, she went to New York for the summer and they said it would be good for her. She came back and she had lost about 25 pounds. And she wasn't talking to us. We couldn't help her. It's the first time I've ever felt helpless in my whole life. As a mom, I felt like a failure because it had been going on longer than I knew and I didn't know. And I felt like if I had less kids, would this have happened? I just felt so guilty. So we had to send her away to get help. It was kind of one of the hardest things we've ever done. Because for the yeah, first time, sorry. yeah, it was hard. Sorry. She didn't have to go to school. She didn't have to get straight A's. Right. She got to take a break. As a mother, she was like my shiny star. She was like the perfect kid. And it really changed how we parented the rest of our children. I went from thinking, oh, I want my kids to get straight A's and go to Harvard, to I want my kids to be happy. I'm sorry, are you okay? You're no, I'm not, <laughs> actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sorry that, that I'm going through the same thing with my kids. What's happening? I had three straight A kids that were totally confident in everything, and with my divorce, one of my kids says, Mom, I'm not going to be better than a C student just because of all the stress that they've gone under. And, it's, and I love what you just said because my philosophy now is I don't give a shit that they're going to get to that straight A school. God's going to put them in the, in, the, in the place where they need to be. Oh, stop. OK. See, this is why I love you. <laughs> I grew up with fighting parents which I completely duplicated for my kids. Are you really going to say that? Because that's really offensive to me. Well, that she believes in sweetie, but they, they're not so true. So she believes that I drove you to things? No, she doesn't. OK, because that's what she said to both women. And I feel such guilt for it, and I just want the best for them. I want them to be happy.